How's it going guys? Um, I wanted to give you guys a um, update video since my last car video that I uploaded. Um, going over some of the mods that I have installed on the car since then. Um, there have been, you know, three or four or five uh, pretty significant mods since that last video. Um, so I wanted to kind of highlight some of those, uh, go over, you know, what I like and dislike about each one. Uh, not too many dislikes, but uh, yeah, we'll start from, I'll go from the oldest mod since that video up uh, to the newest mod uh, since that video. So yeah, let's jump right into the first one. Mod that I did uh, since the last video um, is sort of a break upgrade. Um, it's not like a big break hit or anything, obviously, but um, I sweated the StopTech slotted rotors on the front and rear along with the Hawk uh, 5.0, I believe, pads front and rear. Um, Goodrich uh, stated the uh, stainless steel brake lines front and rear along with uh, the RBF 600 fluid um, very uh, pretty good setup for uh, the street um, definitely better than I guess OEM and that's the same thing with uh, for like track use um, I tracked the car you know two or three or four months um, you know once out of the that time span um, and of course it's much better than uh, the OEM. A um, little bit less brake dust, a little bit less chattery, chirpy, um, all around just yeah you know better you know stopping power um, and they don't get as hot as well so um, would definitely recommend that. Uh, pretty cheap-ish uh, upgrade that you can do for your car. All right let's get into the second one. Next upgrade that I did about a month after the brakes was I added the NVIDIA um, R400 catback exhaust. Um, I had the muffler or had a muffler delete uh, on this before with like I guess custom tips. Um, I do have a like sound clip of that um, on my page, but this is a little bit less quieter than that. A um, little bit less, you know, like pops and gurgles, I guess. Um, but it does have, I guess, more of a refined, less raspy tone. Um, however, again, it is a little bit quieter. Um, it does look pretty dang good as well. Uh, pretty hard to see like on this but I think the tips are four four and a half inch diameter so they're pretty big um, but it fills out like the back like this black like plastic frame pretty well um, yeah I would definitely recommend it uh, let's get into the third one but it's the k-tuner uh, I got the v 1.2 so it's the one without the screen um, didn't really want the screen for a few reasons uh, anyways um, so I got the K-Tuner V1.2 with the Faribault 1.5 tune. Um, you know, obviously there are a couple other tunes out there, but I did just go ahead and get the Faribault 1.5 uh, from Faribault's website um, after doing some research on, you know, Civic X forums, all that. Heard a ton of positive, uh, positive feedback on that. Um, it's been great. I pretty much run it, so it comes to three maps. Um, I don't really know what the levels are in terms of boost. Uh, but I pretty much just stick to map one. Um, I have a stock clutch still, um, and that's 21 psi, so it's definitely more than more than enough. Um, yeah, been great. Uh, and really, no issues with the install. I had a friend of mine, um, you know, help me uh, install it because he had the exact same tune, exact same car. Um, yeah, and it's been great so far. So yeah, I definitely recommend that. Um, Another small mod that I just remembered that I got was the Pro Civic, I guess, smoked side marker lights. Um, those have been great. Still the, I guess, stock uh, color, um, like the light bulb output color is the same, like stock, ugly-ish yellow color. Uh, pretty brutal looking, but uh, the smoked side marker lights that were better. I also got white line uh, rear adjustable end links, um, which obviously, again, you can't see, of course, but um, those have been great as well. They're a little bit chattery, a little bit like clunky, but they definitely help stiffen up the rear with the thicker uh, rear sway bar, which I added a long time ago. Okay, next mod. Okay, and the most recent mod that I did, which was literally like two or three days ago, um, is the PRL uh, V2 front mount kit with the piping. You can see that right there. And then there's the core, which is much bigger than I would say probably 15 to 20 percent bigger than the dinky little uh, OEM one. Um, there's a picture of my story of that uh, on Instagram, which, you know, comparing the size of the two, and this one is massive. Um, got this installed two or three days ago. Um, you know, the power output that it, uh, you know, gave me, I, I really wasn't doing it for the power. Um, 
However, I don't know if that's placebo, but I do notice it a little bit. Um, but I really wanted to do it too for the cooling effects. Obviously, I live in uh, Dallas-Fort Worth area. It does get pretty hot here. Um, and I just kind of wanted to get that on to help alleviate some of the heat soak with these turbo cars. Um, again, I do track the car a decent amount. I would say more than the average, you know, SI owner. Um, and you know, any turbo car is prone to heat soak. So I wanted to get this to alleviate some of that. Um, been great so far. I had a shop over here in North uh, Texas called BSP Motorsports Install It. Um, they're great, definitely go check them out. I'll link them below. Um, but they said the, uh, the fitment from PRL on this from Mount Cooler um, was nearly perfect. Um, you know, they said it was essentially OEM, uh, bolted up right away. They didn't really have to do any cutting, anything like that. Um, so that's great feedback. Um, you know, I was only there for like two hours, so um, definitely went smoothly. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the, the recap on the car since the last video. Um, some aesthetic stuff, uh, some power stuff. We got the brakes, uh, tune, cab back exhaust, and uh, the front mount intercooler. Um, all been great. Um, no issues with any of them. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for the most recent mods since my last video. Um, what are you guys thinking I should do next? I was thinking maybe doing a front light downpipe. Um, but I know at that point, if I were to install those, I'd probably have to think about getting a clutch, which I know would get kind of pricey. Um, so I was thinking about kind of just skipping over that for now and going with the Miramoto XB headlights, um, some LEDs to get rid of that kind of nasty yellow color. Uh, I'm not really sure. So if you guys have any input, any, any, you know, turbo car owners have any input, uh, let me know. Um, yeah, I'll link my Instagram down below if you guys wanna kinda of check out behind the scenes stuff. I pretty much post, you know, story posts every day. Um, I do have a track day coming up this Sunday, so I'll do behind the scenes stuff on that. Um, and again, I do have the NVIDIA 400, R400 cat back uh, on the car. I have not really done a, I guess, proper uh, exhaust sound clip of that. So if you guys wanna see a kind of GoPro-ish type video, that with the like sound clip drive-by videos um, you know how that sounds let me know uh, and I can get that filmed I've kind of been putting that off um, but if you guys want to see that let me know um, anyways Instagram down below check it out uh, and hopefully we have another cool update video coming up soon we'll see all right bye